Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this ThinkTop Ultralight Full Carbon Fiber Bicycle Bottle Cage 2-Pack. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these, I'll put a link to them in the description on Amazon. If you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I recently got a new bike and I need some bottle cages so I was looking through the different options and I came across these carbon fiber bottle cages. And I don't have any carbon fiber on this bike, it's an aluminum bike. I thought maybe I'll add a little flare with this. These are also supposedly very lightweight, although I'm not really going after that goal with this bike. So it looks like it comes with some screws and these are nested inside of each other. So let's see if I can separate them. There we go. Okay, so here are the two cages. So these do feel very light and they do look like they're real carbon fiber. They obviously have some flex in them. Now carbon fiber is not only light, but it should be super strong too. So I'm not going to test these to destruction, but they should hold up very well. Now I don't know if there's UV protection on here, so I might put some UV protection on this myself, but I do have a scale here so I can measure the weight on these. So I think it said these are 25 grams plus or minus one gram. Let's see if I get that. So they're 25 grams. And let's see. Ooh, 24 grams. This one's slightly lighter. So I do have some other bottle cages here for comparison. This is a pl plastic one. This is 46. Here's an aluminum one, 47. Here's another plastic one. That's 48. So the 25 grams didn't really mean a whole lot to me, but measuring those other puts it in context. So this is quite a bit lighter. It's almost half the weight of some of the other water bottle cages. That being said, that's not a huge deal for me, but I know some people would be wanting to know if the weight is true on these. Okay, so let's see how a water bottle fits in here. Fits in like so, as you'd expect. Looks real nice. Of course, this is on my bench. It's hard to say how well this would work with mountain biking and such. I'm going to be using this on a trail bike, but this seems to slip in and out really easy. So I'm going to head over to my shop and we'll get these installed on the bike. Okay, so I'm in my shop now. I have my bike here. This is a Giant Escape 2 hybrid bike, and this requires an M5 hex key to take these bolts off. So I'll take these off. Okay, so I got these bolts out. Some were easier to take out than others. I don't know if I had thread locker on there or what, or if just the threads weren't very good. So now I'll get the bottle cages on there. So I'll stick this in this bottom hole to start. And I'll just get it started. So now I'm going to tighten these almost all the way down. I'm not going to torque them. I'll use a torque wrench to do that. Okay, so if I look in the owner's manual here, it says water bottle cage M5 is 2.9 to 4.9 newton meters of torque. So here I have a quarter inch drive torque wrench. I've set this to 3.9 newton meters because that was an easy one to get on here. It's in between those two. I have the extension on here with the M4 hex socket. So now I can stick this in here and I'll tighten this until it clicks. And I may not need the extension for all these. Okay, you couldn't really hear the click, but you can feel it. I'll take this off for this lower one. Okay, so those are all torque to manufacturer spec. Now I can stick the water bottle in here, like so. And like so, let me get a little zoom out here. Now the screws on these bottle cages are kind of flush with the back and the screws that came with the cages seemed a little bit shallower. So if the screws that are on your frame now seem too thick, you could swap those out. I just figured I'd keep it the same ones I'm using. But those fit in there nicely. And I think these look real nice. They have a really clean look to them, being carbon fiber. Since they're plastic, they shouldn't mar my water bottles. And I think they're going to be perfectly fine for holding water bottles for road use. I don't know how this would work on a mountain bike. I'm not a mountain biker, so I don't have an easy way to test that. I'm guessing it could slip out of here. But I think the function of these were supposed to be lightweight, not super secure. So those are the ThinkTop carbon fiber water bottle cages. So if you're looking for some carbon cages, I think this is a great way to buy it where you get a two-pack because most bikes will have two. And as I said earlier, I'll probably put a little sunscreen on here, put some 
UV protectant on them just in case, but I expect these will last a long time. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.